Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Matthew Deyemi. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot to me. And please, if you are watching this video now and you have not yet to subscribe, so just kindly click on the subscribe button and it shall be well with you. So in today's video, I want to teach us how to make a flyer design in Photoshop. Actually, it was someone that asked me to make this kind of video and I'm here now. So without wasting much of our time, let's drive into business. I'll click on please I want us to take note of this, please. It's very important. I try to apply some my previous tutorial on this sim flyer. So I'll create a new. I think I've made teachers how to work on this environment. So I'll create a new my usually my flyer design is there my thing. So now the first thing that we have to do here is to add a solid color. So I'll click on my F7 and come down to my adjustment layer, click on it, go to solid color, perfect. But what I want is I want something like gray. I don't want yes, this one is okay for me. Yeah, this one is perfect. It's okay like that now so the second thing i have to do here is to like i always use ruler whenever i'm making a flyer design so just for it to align to look perfect so now please let you should try to always use this it's very cool. The work will it will it will beautify your work. Yeah, perfect. So now the next thing I have to do is to make a rectangle shape. So now I'll come to my rectangle tools and click on rounded rectangle tools. So I will draw a shape, a rectangle shape. Perfect. So now I'll come down here. I will off the stroke. So the and I will fill it with this. I think this color is okay. Yeah, this color is okay for me. So I'll fill it with this color. Yeah, perfect. Cancel. Cancel. So if I want to make this rectangle more, if I want to round it in the edge, at the edge, so I can just place my arrow here and drag it in, you see. So I think that's okay now. The next thing I have to do is to drop the selection. Let me drop the selection. Yeah, okay. So I'll hold down my shift key and drag it down a little bit. Yes, yeah, perfect. I'll drop down the selection and come down to my canvas selection and I'll click on canvas. I want it to align at the middle. Perfect. So I think that's okay for me now. Yeah, good. So the next thing I have to do here is to start creating my content. So now I'll click on the text tool. I'll double click on it.
Ja, so die Nesting. Ja, so die nächste thing I have to do now is to come down to my shape tool. So I'll click on it. Yeah, perfect. So I'll delete this. All right, grace. So I'll change the font. So the font I use here is button graph. Change the font and increase the size. So the size is uh, yeah perfect. Next thing for me to do now is to draw the selection. And if you want, if I can adjust it a little bit. Um, so the next thing I have to do now is to write collection, grace, collection. The font I use here is meant to share out fonts. Hold. So you can as well download the fonts. So I've teach us how to download font as well. So just go down to my previous video. No. So I will resize it here. Yeah, perfect. So now I've changed the color to black. But before that, before that, the collection is collections, is not collection, collections. So I will add S and change the color to black. Perfect. I can just resize it. I think that's okay for me. Yeah, perfect. So I love it. So now the next thing for me to do now is to right. So let me reduce the shape here. We shall empty product product at at affordable. It. So this is for the shipping calculator. So I will highlight. So 
All right, don't lose everything. Or I can just reshape, resize it here. I will make an adjustment now and I want us to take notes for the adjustment. So just, just take note of it. As you can see, the there is enough space within the TV content. So now we'll reduce the space. So I'll come down to my window and select character. The character will reduce the space for me, you see, very awesome. So, I think this is okay for me. It's okay, so I'll click on OK. So now the next thing for me to do is to create a call to action button. So, yeah. So please take note of take note of all my doors. You're watching my steps. It's very simple. That's why I don't rush. So here, to duplicate this order, 
so I'll order my alt key I'll click on the text I'll paste it here I'm using my short key as well. So now, I've made some adjustments here. So I just quickly write the uh, content so that you can understand everything. So now the next thing for me to do is let me reduce this size. So I think this icon is very. Yes. So now, yeah, I'll make a shape. So now, after I make the shape, I'll power click. Just keep watching. Not any difficult here. So yeah. So I've teachers everything that I've made. I'll split out everything so you can just go down to my previous video to understand every step I'm taking here. So like I've teach you how to remove that line everything. So yeah, I will have my alt key to duplicate.
So I think that's okay. Let me draw. Yeah, perfect. So the next thing I have to do is to change this color to white. So let me align it first. Change this color as well. I don't want. So I'll power clip the image. Uh -huh. So now let me explain this. So please take note of this. Whenever you want to power clip image into shape, so please take note of this. Make sure that your image is on top of the shape you want to power clip into. Like now, you see that I drag this circle and um, this rectangle, this right around rectangle to the top so that I can fit where these images. So that's just why I drag it up. So now just click on the image and power clip. I come down to create a clipping mask. I just order my sheet key to drag it in. You see, it's very simple. Now do the selection. So perfect. Come down to the top. I will do the same thing here. Just click on the image and power clip inside the shape. Let me zoom out back to my shift key. Drag the rectangle to fit the image. Now, power 
clinic, create the power clinic, the mask. So I'll zoom in. I'll click on OK. So I think all these are ready now. Yeah, perfect. So I want to change this icon color. Let me click on it. So to change any icon color in Photoshop, very simple. Just click on. I'll click on my F7. Come down to your FX blending option. Click on color overlay. You see automatically change it to whatever color appears here so now it also you just to change the color to what you want i don't think if i want to change the color well, i think it's okay for me so no need of changing it again i'll click on ok so here as well i'll come down to my color overlay click on it and press ok The next I just made down to do is I want to add embroil embossment to this shape. So very simple. You see? So it looks cool. You see, it looks cool. Now if I have the emboss, you see, we will add it. So very simple, just check on the settings. My depth is 100%, my size is 38, my soft tone is 30, my style is in a bell, and this technique is smooth, so that's all. So just set your own to fit this as well, so that's all. And I'll click on OK. So the next thing I want to do now is to add shadow to this shape, so I'll come out my blending option I click on drop shadow this shadow is white so I don't want all of it yeah and this is what I want so perfect now click on OK I think everything is done now. Okay, so let me do some adjustments. So you want to group, you press your control key, uh, control key down, you press your control key. And you will click on whatever you want to group. You will click, you will click, then you will drop your country piece, place it whenever you want to place it to. So, I think this one, not. yes, perfect. So, So now I want to group everything. So I will my control key to group everything. I mean all this content. So I want to group them. I'll press on Ctrl G to create a group. So now, after creating the group, 
I want to align it to the center. So perfect. So now everything is at the center. So you know what I have to do here is just to make a pattern. I want to, you know, pattern is among the principle of design. So if you want to make a proper, a perfect design, you have to add pattern to your work so that it can look perfect and also and look cool. So let me come down to my folder. So I have a pattern I always use here. So click on it. I will hold down my shift key. So, so I have to draw, place this uh, pattern beneath the content. Yeah, perfect. Hmm. This pattern is not okay. So now the what I have to do is to just to remove, reduce the opacity. Come down to now. I'll click on the pattern and screw down here. Come down to my opacity and reduce it to 10. I think 10 is perfect for me. It is all I did. And also, I can as well come down to add a little. Perfect. So this color to change the color. It's too light. So just let me reduce the color here and go. Perfect. I think that's all. So this So this is how to make a flyer design in Photoshop. So as time goes on, I will do some tutorials on Photoshop as well. But everything is small, small. You don't have to rush, okay? So you don't have to rush. So you can as well just keep following my stuff and you make something perfect and okay than this. So please, if you are watching this video, please, I need you to subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button, please. Just click on the subscribe button. And also, if you have any question, you can drop it on, you can drop down the question in the comment section. So I'll check and I'll reply. So it is little I can just do for today. So I wish you best of luck. Thanks for watching my video.